guys, welcome back to The Sims 4 Vampires with my cutie little bee, Sammy B, here. He is currently, he saw Caleb outside his house and was like, hey, like, what are you doing here? He's heading off now, but he basically wanted to check up on him after he finally got his message. Luna, cousin Luna came over. She's having a bit, she's being like super stressed out by the family, so she was just like, can I come over and just hang out for a few hours and get away from them? It's a Friday night, they think I'm sleeping over at a friend's house. Sammy B seems pretty okay with the idea. He seems pretty okay with the idea. He is pretty hungry. I'm actually gonna go and have him start, finish, finally start continuing that grilled cheese he wanted to start. And just leave Luna to have some time for herself. I think that was the case of, can I use the computer? Yes, you can. Just don't touch any of my digital art files. She's like, now I'm just going to go and download a movie on Netflix. Or the Sims equivalent of Netflix. Also, I dolled her up in CC and she's so cute. She's so absolutely so cute. In regards to Sammy B's social life, because uh, he was hanging out, hanging out with Nate, Nate actually crashed on the couch. So, you know, when Sammy B woke up in the morning, he was like, hey, you're still here? And he's like, yeah, I didn't want to go back to my place you know how late the bus is running also there were some creepy people outside and I didn't really want to hang out with them so Nate stayed and slept on the couch and they hung out in the morning before he went to the uni to go and paint and then he hung out at the coffee shop grabbed a drink came back and Caleb was here at the uh, door and he stayed for a little bit and then as we saw he left and now Luna is here, just chilling out for a little bit. And Sammy B has just made himself... He's actually made a nice, decent little grilled cheese sandwich. That's always good. That's always good. I don't blame Luna for wanting to hang out here with Sammy B because the family... They're already driving Sammy B nuts by, like, following him. To, like, like Abel, Jamie, and Lilith all followed him to San Mishuno and all pretended that they didn't run into him at the club. And it's like, no, I saw you in the corners dancing. You guys weren't subtle at all. Sammy B, he's trying so hard to be independent. He's trying so hard to be independent and have fun. And his family just keep ruining it. Although, he's probably he probably should maybe on Sunday go and visit the family. Because they're probably all missing him. Despite the fact he's been gone since... For, for like a week now. He's been gone for about a week. And there's vampires turning up everywhere. A couple of them have knocked on the door. There's... Lilith, Caleb is zooming around. Uh, I don't want to make. I want to make a joke and say Caleb is suffering from a case of the zoomies, which is kind of funny considering his super speed. So Caleb apparently has a case of the zoomies. And Sammy B, he's quite tired. He's quite tired. We're gonna have him just go clean up, go to bed, and then in the morning he's probably gonna do another freelancing gig, and then also go to. Maybe try and either give Nate a text or try and give Caleb a text and see which one answers. Because he thinks Nate's pretty cool. Nate's on the same course. He's a barista. He's a bit of a perfectionist and already friends. But I think Sammy B also thinks Caleb is also quite cute as well. He's more the, he's more like it's so mysterious because he doesn't know that much about him. As far as all he, 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 all he knows is that he's a bookworm who's creative doesn't know much about him. He's also slightly, every time he's found him, he's been slightly feeling slightly depressed. And also he just kind of vanishes for like a couple days and then and just won't respond to texts. It's a bit of a weird thing, but Sammy likes the fact that he's kind of drawn to him a little bit. And it's been nice not knowing that there's been a couple nights where he's been able to get a good night's sleep and not have any vampires turning up. Do you know, it's probably good for Sammy. If he's got like relatives staying over... It's her responsibility to go... Empathy's going now. She is trolling the forums. Luna. Luna, you can't go trolling the forums unless, you know, you're trolling, like, anti-conspiracy websites like Flat Earth Society and as uh, she's heading off home. Now, yeah, it's just after midnight. You probably should go home. But unless she's trolling Flat Earth Society and anti-vax websites, that's all good because those are the best places to troll. Sammy B has woken up and he's in his cute little witchy outfit... He can't really sleep now, but it's like 3 in the morning. So he's probably going to go out and do that wander around that he wanted to do initially. There's people hanging around. Oh my. Well, this is interesting. Bryce Wycombe, who lives across the road in that house with the really... Look at the... Okay, look at that living room and tell me that that is not kitschy and weird as hell. 
like like creepy ass looking manor with garlic everywhere and then the living room just makes you want to vomit rainbows but do wonder what he's doing out late at night it's an interesting thing it's also giving him piercings that's actually pretty cool the piercings actually look quite good on him. I didn't do that. I made that sim, but I think that might be just a randomly generated outfit. I don't remember giving him all those piercings. But it's super creepy. Oh, there's also a bird on the statue just then. But there's people hanging about. At least there were. But Sammy B is going to be just going out. Have a bit of a wonder because it's nice enough that it's not misty enough for him to, to go out. To like, feel like it's unsafe. But also it's nice and clear that should anything happen, he'll be okay because he'll be able to see people coming. There's also creepy eyes in the trees. The trees are all weird. There's moths everywhere. There's plasma fruits as well. The trees are in season. And the place just looks super creepy. And he's not seen Vlad around, which is very good. Vlad, I think, might be recharging his batteries in his manor or he's headed off somewhere else. How'd you find Sammy? Ooh, a sapphire. That's cool. That's cool. I would not recommend playing in that leaf pile. That is looking gross as all hell, but I think you should maybe pluck these plasma fruits. That could be interesting. Like he's never taken the time to actually explore for Gone Hollis. So we're gonna do this while it's quite early in the morning and no one's around this plasma fruits. He's got the gardening skill now. There's wolfsbane. Around wolfsbane flowers. These are actually pretty cool. I do like the wolfsbane. Then he got these weird mosquito traps from Sixum. They're pretty cool. And there is garlic around somewhere. Yeah, there's a little, like... Garlic. You get five pieces of garlic from these. That's actually really good. Sammy B has found a treasure map. That's cool. That's actually really cool, finding a treasure map. Brittany Cho, oh look, she's back and she's going to play in a stinky pile of leaves. <laughs> oh, I said don't knock people's uh, hobbies because she's a celebrity. We're going to judge her just slightly. Just slightly. With that, Sammy B's in a super energetic mood from a toddler tray, which is always a bit of a weird one. But it's like half six in the morning now, so it's pretty... Like, the sun's come up. It's actually pretty decent. Don't go... P and it's raining. Cool. Head on in. I think maybe we stay in today. Because it's a thunderstorm and that's not going to be good. Maybe give Nate a text as well. Or Caleb. Text them both and see who responds first. But not at like 7 in the morning. That's a bit... That's a bit late. Did your umbrella break? Yes, I think it did. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. It broke. Okay, just stay and play some computer games just for a little bit to ease. Just to ease yourself. Oh, God. Oh, it's like super rainy and creepy now. Oh. Now this is what I'm talking about when it comes to Forgotten Hollow. Heavy rain. You can't even see the house of how misty it is. Super creepy and cool. That I've always wanted to wish you could go to that. Where this weird little like... Just this random coffin and grave. Just on this tiny island under this tree. I want to know what the story is behind that. Ooh, better yet question. Is it available in the show live edit mode objects? Now because... Patch update happened and my game runs still great. None of my mods broke, which is good. Sammy B, wearing his cute little witchy outfit. He's super tense, which I don't blame him. And of course, he's gonna just go and swear like a sailor for it to just be like, damn it! It's actually, yeah, take a bit of a sleep as well. Because you couldn't sleep and now you're a bit tired now because you ended up waking up at like 3 in the morning and then not actually coming back until 5am and there's a child walking out in the thunderstorm Sammy B 
is feeling in a bit of a daring mood now. He had a nice sleep, had something to eat, and now he's in a, such a floating mood. He's thinking, Do you know what? I might give them both a text and see just what happens. First off, you're going to send a flirty text to Caleb, then to Nate, and we see who responds. The Romance Festival is also in town, and providing family don't invite him to it. That'll always be interesting to see if someone responds to that. I can't get you out of my mind lately. Wanna go on a date and get some dinner at the Ooh. Sunshine Diner? Oh! Oh, snap, people! Avery is into him! He sent the text to Caleb first, but he didn't even need a response from him because Nate texted him asking him on a date first. Oh, this is getting interesting. They're here at the Sunshine Diner. <laughs> Nate being the, the one who asked him out first. So, we can safely say that definitely Nate had a good time at the club and definitely couldn't couldn't stop thinking about him after that and was decide decided that, you know what, I kind of want to ask him out. Six in the evening, going to the Sunshine Diner for dinner. I don't know why they end up at the back there. It's a bit weird, but they have to go and walk all the way around. I designed this diner, by the way. I love this little place. It plays jazz music. I did edit it a little bit, mostly for this bit here, and also having that one moron who parks their truck across two spaces because they're just that big of like a... you know. Yes, thank you, sweetie. A dingus. Sammy B is going to go and order them a table. I'm hoping... Hey, look, it's Nina. Nina Caliente. And is that... Yep, there's... There's Professor Helms. There's, they're going to go and he's going to order them a table. And that should be good. It's kind of laggy and slow, but all my community lots have just started running, like, really slowly. I'm not sure why. I'm hoping it's like nothing too bad. Now I'm a bit wondering. Here's your table enjoy me. I'm wondering, I'm hoping actually, no one's gonna steal their food because that apparently has been a major bug in the game since the Island Living Patch update where people are just randomly taking your food. So let's sit down, order for the table. And yet, there's, there's Lilith saying, Do you want to come to the Romance Festival, uh, sweetie? Do you want to come to the Romance Festival? And, you know, drink Sakura tea. Okay, so, there's no alcohol, but uh, we're going to give... Nate's going to have a lemonade. Sammy B can have... Ooh, what did I give him? I'm going to give him... I'm also going to give him a lemonade, I think, as well. Both going to have lemonades. And we got some good food. There's some appetizers. It's all kind of very basic food. It is a diner after all. Do you know what I l would love if we could? I want milkshakes. Devs, get on that and give us milkshakes because that would be amazing. Ooh, I'm not sure. We could make them just have dessert instead. Yeah, let's have Sammy B order some ice cream. Some nice Neapolitan ice cream and... Nate can have a cheesecake. Nice slice of cheesecake. There we go. Let's hope no one tries to steal it. Already they're just hitting it off so hard. Good joy? Oh, no. Just chatting instantly Rocky away. Boss. Nina's coming to take the order. She's like, hi, what can I get you guys? And he's like, ice cream, Ooh. lemonade, Not cheesecake, got it. She's like, coming huh? right up. Also, it seems kind of fitting that Nina would be a waitress. I don't know why, but she suits she suits the waitressing job, I guess. I see, he's there just looking over, just like, I think he's checking out Nina. It looks like he was checking her out, just like, mm, the waitress is pretty. Once again, Judith cannot get any privacy. Every time she goes to the bathroom, someone, some paparazzo is coming in to try and just like, to try and like take pictures of her. I'll see these two have a nice little corner booth. Nice little corner booth. Man, my game is lagging and I don't know why. Oh my. Oh, Sammy B. 
<laughs> Gilda. Oh, Sammy B. They definitely enjoyed that. No, like, actual love heart Abdor, bar appearing at the fun. moment, but definitely enjoyed answers. the little Just bit of flirtation from him. Them. I mean, he did ask him out first. Quohaven? He did ask him out first, apparently. He enjoyed... He just hasn't hasn't stopped thinking about him. You dump some Sammy B has learned that Nate is creative. Skeebs That's nice. Ark. I've just been leaving them. They've mostly <laughs> been talking this whole time, but it's Nasty def you can definitely barble. see Sammy B is enjoying Alfonso. this quite Nip a bit. And Nate rimble. is the one who's but making most of, like, is the one doing most of the talking. Right now it's about cupcakes, <laughs> but he's the one who's definitely been making most of the... Of the Squabble like, tarpa moves to go to talk to him. Sabi has learned Nate's also a romantic. And he has to run to the bathroom. Oh, Sammy B. <gasps> Look at that expression on his face. I know it's like lagging quite a bit, but oh my god, I think he's totally crushing on Nate. I think he's totally crushing on Nate. And he sent a text to Caleb and got nothing back, but, you know, Caleb's a bit of a weird, mysterious person. He's always just popping up whenever he wants to. Sammy B is just like, you know what, I think I think he's cute. I think I want to date him, maybe take him back to my watchtower. And Nina has arrived with the food. Yeah. Thank you, Nina. We'll be sure to give you a tip because you're a great waitress. Let's just hope no one steals the food. And Nate got back just in time to be like, ah, oh, right, my cheesecake. <laughs> that expression just then just like ooh he's like oh my god I love vanilla Sim City ooh, cheesecake uh -huh. this is so great I'm not sure why, why she's just standing there it's just okay Nina bye bye now no bye yet but they're getting along similarly also where on earth is your cheesecake did that woman steal the cheesecake oh my god I think someone just stole Nate I think Meredith Roswell just stole Nate's cheesecake how dare you woman I think she legit stole his cheesecake. Oh, at least Zoe is just like, Nina, stop staring at them. It's weird. And for love of God, do your job and clean up. Oh, my God, woman. Like, Nina is literally just being super weird and staring at them the whole time. It's like, Nina, serve someone else for God's sake. Yes, I'd say at least Sammy B's eating his ice cream. Eat the ice cream now before someone steals it like they stole Nate's cheesecake. Because I'm definitely sure his cheesecake got stolen. Devs, you need to fix this. People are stealing food. And Sammy B does not have enough money to keep shelling out food for dinner dates. I mean, he's got 700 simoleons, so yeah, he probably does. But look, they're getting on super well, omitting creepy Nina now. Who's decided to just stand there? So I guess this is just stare at the two boys on their date night, apparently. It's like, okay, Joffrey, please go away. You're ruining this date. And for love of God, don't you dare try and steal Sammy B's ice Neapolitan ice cream. Poor guy keeps getting like brain freeze. Oh look at that. Meredith did order food. Wait, she ordered. She ordered like fish and chips. She steals the cheesecake first and then orders fish and chips. Evil, evil woman. Well, at least they've eaten. Pay for the bill, and I think we're gonna move this date somewhere less laggy. I think maybe to the park. So Nate's invited Sammy B back to his place because it's actually not too far from the diner. Now Sammy B gets to see where he lives, and he's like. Being all flirtatious and cute, <laughs> and romance has started. They both seem to be trashing this movie, or at least Nate is. But they're continuing the date along. It's quite nice. Nate definitely seems super interested. Maybe Sammy B can try and make a move. Maybe a little bit. Just, just see, just see. Oh, Sammy B. Oh, you bad boy, you. And they definitely appreciated the move. And now, oh, <laughs> and now he's tickled. Oh, these two are very compatible, I've noticed. 
Greg from Passable. <laughs> they were trashing the sort of black and white. Like, I'm not entirely sure what the hell this movie's called. But it's just like animals everywhere, the butler's freaking out, and the dog is playing with its tail. But it's also quite late. So maybe I'd say give him a. Oh my god, you can have your first kiss already? Do it! Try it! See how he reacts. Honestly? Like. I'm gonna be honest. You two aren't even dating and already. Much healthier relationship than. You know. Sammy B's other relationships from Clash of <laughs> Save. He is not a total dumpster fire when it comes to love, apparently, in this one. But now that you've had your first kiss with him, perhaps maybe it is time you say goodbye and go on back home. It's 1 a.m. and you've got to get the bus back before. Before, because you can't really crash here because, well, there's two single beds, there's no way you two would be able to fit, so. Just say goodnight and head on home. Just feel like I had a great time, Nate. <gasps> Maybe I'll give you a call tomorrow. And off he goes home. I just want to get a look at this. Look at this face. That is the face of someone who has not only had a very good date, sadly, it does not count towards his aspiration. But he also got to score a kiss as well at the end of it. So, win win for Sammy B all round. And once again, Sammy B has come back to find Caleb outside his door at 2 a.m. He's just like, well, hey, what are you doing here? And he's like, what are you doing back so late? I was actually passing by, thought you might be in. You're always up a bit late. And he's like, I was out in Winnenburg. You're kind of a late owl, aren't you? Always seeming to just be hanging around at 2 a.m. He's like, you're always up at 2 a.m. Ah, it's just a coincidence, I'd say. It's like, oh, I was out last night. I had a bit of a date. Oh, yeah? What were you out doing last night? Oh, I've been doing late nights at the art gallery. What about you? He's like, I went out on a date. And he's like, oh, yeah? Where did you go out on a date to? Just Windenburg. Just Windenburg. We went out to the diner and someone stole this cheesecake, which was probably the highlight of it. He's like, is that why you got the cute outfit on? Which, oh wow, two hearts from that. No love by yet, but he definitely, definitely reciprocated that. But honestly, what are you doing here? You're not just popping over at two in the morning just to see little old me, are you? He's like, well, I am kind of, yeah. I mean, you said, you said he blind attacked you. Didn't want to worry about that. And he's like, oh, I bet you say that to everyone. And Caleb definitely liked that as well. You know what, Sammy B? Oh, he got the romance as well. Sammy B, you little player, you. I think Caleb's blushing now because he's like, oh my god, the cute little witch boy's into me. Which I think is going to be his new name for now, especially in that out, in that cute little rig out. Probably should say goodbye to Caleb, though. It's four in the morning and you got to go to bed. So it's like, well... It was nice having you stop by and see little old me, Caleb, but I'm up quite late, so I probably should go to bed. Where is the goodbye? There is no goodbye. Maybe just leave, maybe just leave him and he'll go away on his own. You invited him across the threshold. That's your fault now. Sammy B is going to be like, I'm off to bed now. It's quite late, but thank you for stopping by and checking up on me. And maybe uh, next time... You come over, we can do more than just chat. Sammy B. Sammy B. Little Sammy B. Look at him. Look at him. Look at that little player right there. He's already gone out on a date and got his first kiss with the cute street artist from his course. And then Caleb pops by at 2 in the morning. And he's like, oh, you just came to check up on me, did you? I see how it is. I see what you're putting out there. All the boys want Sammy B. And you know what? If this is gonna be his love triangle for the series, it's a damn, it's a damn better one than what he's had in the past. At least with these two, he's not gonna be a total trash fire. And you know what? I think this is gonna be where we leave 
Sims 4 Vampires. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you all enjoyed this episode. I know I did. And we'll see you in the next episode where Sammy B just may go out on a couple more dates with Nate and maybe score one with Kayla. So, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye bye now. You're the stupid boy, treating hearts like.